it guys good morning and welcome to today's products in focus as you're able to see there the us 30 is still under pressure uh, so i had a quite a late sell off there on friday tech stocks and bio stocks in the us they taking the brunt of uh, that on the nasdaq spilled over onto the s p and the us 30 and uh, we're actually just currently we're actually just trading bang on potential um support slash resistance at 16030 uh, as the crisis in ukraine uh, seem to continue to uh, deepen as uh, an anti-terror um, campaign now is taking place by Ukrainian security forces along with uh, obviously a lot of pro-Russian forces and a lot of commentators are, coming, are, are obviously saying that a lot of those pro-Russian forces are actually Russian soldiers so risk is kind of off a little bit today uh, so this level here at 16.030 should be relatively strategic there today Looking at the UK 100, kind of similar picture, had a really strong sell off there on Friday, close at the bottom was low, little bounce back today of potential support at 65.19, and again this is a level to have a watch today. Uh, Japan 225, we've been seeing a lot of yen buying, well not a lot, but there's been some yen buying incidentally, um, which uh, would be kind of negative for Japan 225. I think all the global markets had a very slight bounce this morning, um, certainly nothing um, uh, that convincing. Uh, but we're slapped in the middle of two ranges with Japan 225. Potential support 13,693. Potential resistance at 14,219. If we just jump on to that dollar yen uh, just for a second, you can see that we're trading below potential uh, uh, resistance at 101 spot 80. If we then do begin to see a bit more yen buying, um, you'd actually expect that to, to drift down that little bit lower. I can see that gold has spiked up this morning. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, potential resistance at 101 spot 80 this is the level to have a look at if we do continue to see pressure on the dollar and more yen buying next potential support is at 100 spot 80 so jumping on to crude oil uh, unsurprisingly it spiked up this morning uh, it's managed to recover all of its losses this, this formation here is a graveyard doji this is usually very negative um, from a technical analysis perspective but you can see the fundamentals are pushing crude up right up to about 105 we're almost quite close to resistance right here a break and close above that well, the next potential resistance is a lot higher. Um, so that'd be around about 110. And obviously, if the uh, Ukrainian crisis uh, gets worse, as in open fighting in the streets, um, and we do have you know, 25,000 Russian soldiers in Crimea, 40,000 Russian soldiers on the border, uh, with planes, tanks, and everything all ready to go, uh, all seems like a massive pretext for another annexation by the Russian Federation. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So gold, unsurprisingly, in that case, is now the safe haven of choice so it looks to be the people buying gold rather than doing the yen that might be a dollar story though uh, i can see the dollar actually it has increased against sterling and the euro so that's maybe what's taking the shine off that a little bit um but as you can see there gold's getting up to 1332 um we do have a death cross on here but to be honest i think technicals in this instance just now are stretched versus the fundamentals uh, we need a break and close above 1332 before we can challenge 1362. Um, this level here is it's certainly significant. Um, so this is the level to beat. So if we've got failure to beat and things uh, quieting down in, in Ukraine, this, this is the level that uh, people will start to instigate uh, as a resistance level. So if we finish up by looking at cable and euro dollar, so euro dollar I can see uh, is back again on low. So we actually gapped lower this morning. We had a move back up to 3863, which has pushed the price back down again. Uh, this is your potential resistance uh, and if we then have a look at cable which should also be towards the lows of the day we're on the wrong side of potential support which may now be acting at, as resistance at 67.44 so this is the level to look at again there today so economic announcements wise well you've got retail sales x auto at 130 that's probably worth having a look at um if we fast forward on to tomorrow you can see we've got a whole rough uk data so if you're a cable or uk 100 trader um, CPI and uh, RPI uh, will, be, will be interesting to have a look at. CDW business report, big for euro dollar and the Germany 30. And you've actually got the uh, the US CPI data due as well. So quite a lot of cool fundamental data due out tomorrow. Keep your eye on the chart forum for more updates from uh, CMT clients and our global analyst team. And make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. And we'll join, you should join me again tomorrow, sorry, to find out what happened next.